Canva is an innovative free online design software that allows individuals with zero design experience to simply create essentially anything they can think of, from posters and social media posts to documents, logos and presentations. Hey team, I hope you're well and welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time here then my name's Stuart, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm excited to share with you one of our favourite online tools for small businesses called Canva. Now in this beginner's guide I'm going to show you step by step how to use Canva to create stunning designs for free within minutes. One of the main reasons why we love using Canva is they provide thousands of free design templates to build from, as well as thousands of stock images, videos and elements that you can use in any of your designs. Now just quickly before we dive into Canva, and if you're still yet to subscribe, consider doing so and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that covered, let's show you how to make the most out of the best free online design tool called Canva. <music> Okay, so let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do is sign up to canva.com. So head over to canva.com or if you like, click the link in our description. Now this is an affiliate link, which means if you decide to upgrade to a paid plan within Canva, then we will get paid a small commission. And this just helps support us in creating educational content for this channel. So thank you in advance. So once you've landed on canva.com, we have a few different options to sign up with Canva. We can sign up with Google, Facebook, or sign up with your email. Now we tend to sign up with Google because we like to keep everything under one Google account. So we're gonna go ahead and click sign up with Google. Then all you need to do if you're signing up with Google is just enter in your Gmail here. So we're gonna go ahead and enter in our Gmail. And then come down here and click next. And then once you've signed in with Google or you've signed up with Facebook or your email, then you'll arrive at Canva. And here you can select who are you planning to use Canva with. So for us, we're going to click by myself. Now you can also collaborate with other people on certain designs and we'll show you how to do this later on. So for now, we're going to go by myself. And if you like, you can try Canva Pro for 30 days for free. Now, basically, Canva Pro is just the paid version of Canva. And we're going to show you how to use the free version of Canva. And Canva Pro just has more access to more stock photos, videos, elements, and other features. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to show you how to make the most of the free version. So we're going to come up here and select maybe later. And here what we're going to do is just quickly click on one of these templates here because we want to head over to our dashboard and explain the dashboard before we actually dive into the design elements of Canva. So now what we're going to do is come up here and select home. And here we are on your Canva dashboard. So we've completed the initial setup and now what we're going to do is guide you through the dashboard so you understand how Canva works. And then we're going to jump into the design component of creating your first design. Okay, so on your Canva dashboard there are a few important elements that we want to cover before we dive into your first design and show you how to customize and create your own designs. Now the first thing you'll notice is a whole bunch of pre-made templates, pre-made designs. So if you navigate down the page you can see posters, Facebook posts, Instagram posts, A4 documents, logos and much more. There are thousands of pre-made templates that you can choose and design from. And that's one of the main reasons why we love Canva because you can choose any of these pre-made templates and start customizing them the way that you like. So these are professional pre-made templates and there's an abundance of them for you to choose from, over a thousand. So for example, I could come over here and I could type in, let's say, a poster. And that's gonna automatically generate poster types that Canva offers. And you can select them and start customizing them. Now, if we exit out of that one, we can also come down here and we can create our own custom dimensions. So if you already know the size of the content that you wanna create or the marketing content or whatever kind of materials that you want to create, then come down here and enter in those dimensions. Then we can navigate back over to here and we can see some more pre-made templates that Canva has to offer. 
Again, I can just navigate to the right and have a look at all these different templates. Now, if, for example, I want to see all the templates for, let's say, posters, I could come over here and click See All. And that's going to generate all the different poster templates that I can choose from. Now, if we navigate back over to our home page, our dashboard, I also want to quickly mention Teams. Now, you can come down to Create Team. And what you can do here is you can actually go ahead and invite other people, maybe within your small business, that you want to collaborate on designs with. So for example, if I had four team members within my small business and I wanted them to have access to all my designs, I could invite them here. So if you want to collaborate with other team members within your small business on different designs, then you can add them in here and create your team. Now, if we head back up to home again, the last thing I want to quickly mention is price. So if we click on price, currently what we're using is the free plan. And this is sufficient for small businesses. This is sufficient for beginners just getting started with design. However, as you start getting more confident with Canva, you can always upgrade to the pro version, which is what we currently use. And that's $9.95 US per month per user. And again, you can try this for free for up to 30 days. Now, because this is a beginner's tutorial, we're just going to focus on the free version. And again, you can upgrade at any time. So the free version is sufficient enough. We have over 8,000 free pre-made templates and hundreds of thousands of free photos and graphics for you to use in your designs. So now that we've covered price, let's navigate back to home and let's start creating your first design. So for example, for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're going to design is a poster. So I'm going to navigate down here and then navigate over to the right and then I'm going to click see all. And this is going to generate all the templates for us to build off. Now I can always start off with a blank template if I like and start building from scratch. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize a pre-made template. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate down here and have a quick look at some of these. They all look stunning. I'm not too sure which one to choose. Let's go ahead and select this poster here. And then I'm going to navigate down here and click exit because we're going to cover everything you need to know to actually create your own designs and edit these templates. Now, if I wanted a blank template, what I can do is actually come down here and click add page, and that's going to add a blank template. So if I navigate over to the top again, this is the pre-made template that we want to customize. Again, we have a blank template down here if we want to create our own design from scratch, but we're going to customize this pre-made template. Now remember you don't have to select poster like we've just done. You can select any of the design options that were available on the dashboard. And this whole design and customization process is exactly the same for each design. So firstly, we have a couple of elements across here. If you're working with a team, you can add notes or you can add notes for yourself. You can come over here and you can duplicate this page. So if I click duplicate, that's going to create another poster that's identical to the one we're working on. Then I can also delete this page if I like, and then I can add a new page like I showed you before. So now we've got two blank pages. Again, I can delete this blank page and I can delete this blank page, and that's just going to leave me with this pre-made template. Now I can actually go ahead and select any of the elements within this design. So for example, I could click here and I could change this to day of food. And again, you can customize that the way that you like. I could make this text smaller, so I could come up here, change the font size to say 24. That's a bit small, let's go 36. Again, that's a bit small as well, so let's go 56. Okay, I'm happy with that. And again, you can do the same with any of these texts. You just need to double click and you can change the content. Now I can also resize by dragging each of the elements. So I'll go back to how I had it, and you can do the same with these elements here. So again, I could expand that or make it smaller if I like. I'm happy with the way that it is. And then I can change these images if I like. So everything's drag and drop. Then I also have features up here that I can use to edit particular elements. So if I click on a particular element, 
Then up here, I also have features that I can use to edit the particular element that I've selected. So again, I could select this element and then I have different options up here. I could select this element here. I could change the color and I can select this background here. I have colors up here, which means I can change the color of the document itself. I could change the color of the particular element that I want to select. For example, I could change this color to pink, bright red, blue, green. I could leave it as that. Again, I could select this element. I can come over to filter and I can change the way that that image looks by selecting specific filters. And then I can change the intensity across here. So I'm happy with that. Then I can navigate over to adjust. And again, I can adjust the brightness. So remember, I've selected this image, this element over here. Contrast, saturation, tint, blur, and others down here. Then I can reset the adjustments I've just made so it's back to normal. I can go over to crop and I can crop the image. I'll cancel out of that for now. I can also flip this image. For example, I can go horizontal or vertical. I'm happy with the way that it was. There we go. I can also go over to spacing and come down to grid spacing and I can change that overall grid spacing within my design. So there's a lot of elements that you can play around with. Then you can also come over here and change the position. So for example, if I select this element here, I can select position and I can bring that forward. And now those images are in front of that previous element. But I'm going to go back to the way that I had it. So again, I can click on this element. I can also make it transparent. So let's make that slightly transparent. I like the look of that. And then again, I can come over here and I can lock elements in place and I can go ahead and duplicate this design. And that is essentially how you can edit your designs. Now let's talk about some of the elements that you can add into your content. So if we go ahead and create a new page, so add new page, or remember you can come down here and click add page. Over on the left hand side is where you can add images, elements, videos. You can upload your own images, your own videos, and you can create your own designs the way that you like. So again, over here we have templates, which we've just talked about. You can navigate down here or across to look at all the different posters or designs, depending on the design type that you chose. And you can also come up here and type in specific templates. So for example, I could type in food poster, and click enter and that's going to come up with relevant posters based on the keyword that I entered up here. Then I can come down to upload. Upload like I mentioned before is where you can upload your own videos or images and then you just need to drag them into this area here. Then we have photos. So these are stock photos that you can use with your design. So again I could come across here and click this image. I could drag this image to the right dimensions so just like that, I'm happy with that. And there you go, I've got a new image that I can download. So you have access to thousands of free stock images to create the content that you like. Again, I could click this one and I could put that up here and drag this one across like that and grab the initial image that we had and drag that down. Okay, so that looks quite ugly, but you get the idea of how that all works. So I'm gonna actually delete this image Okay, now I'm going to navigate over to elements. Now elements can be essentially any element you can think of you can add to your design. So I could type in, let's say, cats. And then Canva is going to go ahead and generate all the cat elements that they have. And all I need to do is select those elements. And then I can drag them and resize them the way that I like. Come down here and grab this one as well. And navigate up the top and resize that one, so I'm happy with that. Now, if you see an icon next to the image that you wanna use or the element that you wanna use, so say, for example, I wanna use this cat element. However, I notice that it's got a watermark. This is because I need Canva Pro to use this image. And you can upgrade to try Canva Pro for 30 days and then see if you like it. And there's no obligation. You do not have to sign up. You do not need to make any kind of payment. You have the option to use Canva Pro for 30 days. And if you like it, you can continue using it for $9.95 per month or you can cancel at any time. Also, if you like, for example, if I like this poster here, which I don't, um, this is just a tutorial. So I'm going to show you all the elements, but I don't actually like this 
Now, for example, let's say I wanted to download this new design. What I'll do is come up to download and then come down here and click pay and download. Because I'm using one premium image, as you can see, this is a premium image. I will have to pay $1.50 to use this image if I'm not using Canva Pro. Now, if I was signed up to Canva Pro, then all of these elements over here, Pro, Pro, this is a pro element, all of these are a pro element, then they would be free for me to download if I was on Canva Pro. However, like I said, this is a beginner's tutorial, so you can get away with all of the free elements. And if you just want one paid element, then you can just pay for that particular element. So for example, if I just want to download this and it's got one paid element, I'm gonna have to pay $1.50. So I hope that makes sense. Now again, I'm gonna exit out of that one. And I'm going to delete this cat here. And now let's come down to text. Now text is the same as elements and images. All you need to do is search your text. Once you've found it, you can click it. And it's going to add your text into your design. And then all you need to do is double click. And then you can start customizing that text. So I could add my name here. There we go. Again, that's very ugly, but this is just a tutorial to show you how all the features and elements work. Then I can also come down to all of these different kind of uh, pre-made text elements and I can click on one. So I could click this play here. And again, just like before, you can double click and customize it the way that you like. So I'm happy with that. I'm cool. I can drag that out and make it smaller. Awesome. I like that. So remember, everything is just drag and drop, double click and edit. So you have a lot of different text down here. You can type in a specific text if you like, or you can double click here and you come across and click down to see all the different font options that you can use. Now, again, when there's a little crown here, that means you have to upgrade to Canva Pro to use that particular element, text or image. So I'm happy with that for now. Then if we jump out of that one, we can come down to videos. And videos is very similar to images, elements, and text. All you need to do is click on that particular video, and then you can navigate down here, and you can just drag and drop that particular element. But we'll delete that one for now, because we just want to focus on the basics. But it's very straightforward to just add images, videos, and download it as a video. But this is a poster, and we do not need a video. We can come down to background. This is where you can simply add a background. So I could click this black background here. I could click this white background. Again, you can type in a particular background that you're after and then navigate down here and select the background that best works for your poster or your design. Then we have folders and this is for those that have Canva Pro. So we won't go into too much detail because this is a beginner's tutorial. Then we have more down here. Again, like I said, this is a beginner's tutorial, so we're not going to talk too much about this. But basically, you can integrate different applications and software with Canva. So that is an overview on how you can use Canva to essentially customize and create your own designs with complete ease. Now, if you want to download your design, all you need to do is navigate over to this download button, click on it, then you can choose the file type. It could be a PDF. So if I want to print this, then I want to download it as a PDF print. I can also come up here and download it as a high quality PNG or a lower quality JPG. So that's completely up to you. If it was a video, I would download it as an MP4 video. So for this, I'm going to just download it as a PNG, which is a high quality image. I can come down here and I can select the page that I want. So I want to select this page in front of me, which is page two, page two, done. And then again, if I just had a particular element and I wanted to make the background transparent, I would need Canva Pro. Again, if I want to compress this image, so make it a lower quality image, say if I'm uploading it to my website, then I can compress the file. However, that is only with Canva Pro as well. So go ahead and try Canva Pro for 30 days if you like, or you can just stick to the free Canva version. So once you've selected the pages, come down here and click download. Canva will go ahead and prepare your design. And within seconds, your image, your design will start downloading. And you can see an example of how it will look 
if I downloaded it as a PDF print type file. Now another great thing about Canva is you can print any of your designs directly through Canva. So for example if you create a design through Canva you can go ahead and click print now. So if I click print now I can get this quality poster printed out and delivered to my doorstep. I just need to add some of the information here. What size? A3 total pages one or two, how many copies and how much that's going to cost per copy. And then they have a 100% happiness guarantee. So when you're happy with that, click continue and that way you can get your poster sent directly to your home, to your business. And just like that, you've created your poster, your new design. If I click down here, that's going to come up with the poster that I just downloaded. And then you can use any of these designs for social media. So for this design that I've just downloaded, I could add it to Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. I can upload it via email and send it to particular people. I can use these designs for any kind of channel. I can print them out. I can use them on my documents. You can use all the designs for commercial use. So as you have just seen, Canva is an extremely powerful design tool that allows you to create essentially anything for free and within minutes. And that is how you can get started and make the most out of the powerful free online design tool called Canva. Now, if you have any questions about Canva, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, again, make sure you leave a like. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.